Trump, hail Trump, hail Trump. Pada pam pom pada pam pam pada pam pai. I don't know why we started that, that way. Was interesting. I, weird. Well, no. What happened was um, Richard Spencer. You know that he's the mm. new. He's a part of the alt right, a new white nationalist group. Mm-hmm. He's kind of cute. I saw him give Is a he? speech. Yeah, and he did a speech. At the Italian restaurant Maggiano's, really? <laughs> which I'm so offended because they, it's not Italian food. Oh. Okay. And also, um, his name is Richard Spencer. And then they said, hail Trump, hail Trump. And then they all did the um, the, the German. The Nazi. S- Nazi salute. Salute yeah. like that. Mm. Which is, I've always wanted to do that to people just because, you know, you want to go, hi. But you can't do that now because he ruined it. <laughs> you know like that hand gesture this hand gesture yeah. yeah you can't do that anymore like you want to it's like an organic thing that you want to do a like normal what's up you know what I mean? like you want to reach out <laughs> like that but you can't do that now because look at me Bryce <laughs> you can't, you can't do that right now because Hitler ruined it mm-hmm. okay so Hitler um, also ruined the swastika because the original yeah. meaning of a swastika is very beautiful he also yeah. ruined um, that mustache but uh, he really did. That's a cool look, right? Yeah, it's a good look. It's a good I, look. You guys, I, I know, I know, it's been a tough couple of weeks, but I want to start off with a. Um, I like warm fuzzies, and I like um, inspirational quotes. 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 I like inspirational quotes. I like quotes too, babe. And um, what do we call this? If I do a quote, um, how about warm fuzzies for the heart? Mm-hmm. Warm fuzzies for the heart with Bobby Lee. Yes, thank you so much. And this is our warm fuzzies from the heart. Um, it's called Darkness is Good. <laughs> Darkness is Good. Dick Cheney, Darth Vader, Satan, that's power. It only helps us when they get it wrong, when they're blind to who we are and what we're doing. And that's from Steve Bannon. So that feels good. <laughs> Doesn't that feel good? Warm fuzzies from the heart. And you know what that little smirk you did with your fucking mouth, Bryce? Right? Was um, you were enabling that comment I just made. Mm. I feel like it spoke to you. Mm. Did it speak to you? Yeah. yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Where no, the fuck's George? No, George. George is in Michigan. Look at me right now. Where's George? Michigan. Michigan. Okay. Michigan. That's fine. So, um, I received a curious text from your brother about 20 minutes ago. Oh, can I tell you where he is first before you get into whatever you're going to say? Right. So, you, okay. So, my brother, my brother is in Phoenix because my dad had a minor stroke last week and has pneumonia. He has pneumonia. Mm-hmm. And he's going into dementia. Uh, we don't know if it's from the meds. I don't know. Or but if he, has he was saying, "What time? What time are you opening the store?" <laughs> to my parents, my mom, and my brother, that that we haven't had a business in years. Yeah. Jeez. No, you got to do inventory, which is very disturbing. But um, so go ahead. My brother's in Phoenix to take care of my dad. Yeah, and he sent me this picture. Let me see. Okay. Can you describe to the audience? Um, it's it's a very cute blue eyed boy see. holding and hugging Bobby from the back. Oh, friends, yeah. yeah. And so well, Steve texts me, ask Bobby who this guy really is. And if you guys okay, how old am I in that photo, do you think? <laughs> um, you're about twelve. Yeah. Okay. Eleven. 12. And then Just let, let me stop. Okay. okay. So if you're a listener of Pot Tiger Valley, I Growing up, sucked a couple of penises. Mm-hmm. Um, I sucked six. We decided on six. Yeah, we said yeah. six was probably right around the ballpark. Ballpark six mm-hmm. penises. Ballpark. ballpark six. And some of them were kids I used to hang out with. And we're not gay. We're creative and crafty <laughs> and also experimental. Mm-hmm. So he gave me a f- so he sent a photo of a kid yeah. that I sucked his penis. Yes, and then he What's said, "What's the next photo? Let me look." The next photo is this. Okay, it's the Let same kid. It's but- the same kid with bent over with his <laughs> ass cheeks uh, spread, and I'm pretty sure you wait. took this picture, Bobby. I did take the photo. I remember that photo. And then I wrote back, "Oh my god!" And Steve said, "You thought I was joking? They made love so much." No, twice, <laughs> Steve. Twice, <laughs> Steve. Twice, Steve. and then he sends another oh, picture yeah. of you and the same boy <laughs> yeah. in cowboy hats and farmers gears, farmer gear, and he said, "You know what happened in the dressing room?" 
Okay. So your so brother's just been sending me cute boy though. I will give you this. Yeah. Good taste in white boys, Bobby. Thank you. Look at that blue eye. Thank you. It's cute. Little baby. Cute. Yeah. Do you see his ass? Look at his ass. Look at his ass. That twelve year old ass right there. Hold on. Don't say twelve year old ass. Well, I mean, right whatever. There. I mean. You- <laughs> <laughs> he was 12 and you have a photo of his that's ass true, that's honestly true, that's true. Yeah. now that I think about it because I didn't think about it from like a uh, I, this is wrong that I have this photograph yeah I know it's on your phone yeah. why because this person is this is kitty uh, uh, porn if, if I wait wait if I the took FBI. the photo yesterday oh definitely then yes it's wrong sweetie yeah. I have kitty but porn but when you're 11 and you take a photo of another 11 year old's asshole that's not fucking pedophilia right. No, that's friendship. I know, but mm. I'm an adult Looking with at a it. picture You're of right. a kid's asshole. This is for sure kitty porn, and the FBI is going to come knocking All right, on our door. So anyway, stop repeating well, that. Erase please. it. Okay. I have to stop, erase it. Yeah, stop repeating it. But yes, that guy. I already told you, guys you made that. Love. Not, it's not making Did love. You guys kiss. Dude. We didn't kiss. No, not in the mouth. No, I'm not gay. <laughs> just like a dick. Just like a dick. Just ballpark kiss. Sucked six. his penis. He's he would never kiss. You guys, what is the problem here? I, I. You guys have changed since Trump became elected president. <laughs> you guys used to be like, you know, hippie. Broadway and hippie and just free. And now you guys are judgmental. You're pointing at me. I should be electrocuted. Is that what the deal is? Oh, God. No. You want me to, you're going to pence out on me, bro? Pence out. <laughs> you're going to pence out <laughs> on leave me? Leave Bryce alone. All right. Bryce, you bastard. Over here. What? what? You're not yeah, on the hot you seat. Are. You are. Yeah. Well, because George is not here. And, um,. <laughs> I, actually, I, can you go to the mic real quick? I just want to... Come on. Come, I just come need a, talk just to us, for a second. This is his second. debut, by the way. This is Bryce, everybody. Yeah, Bryce. This yeah, is George's cousin, Bryce. Bryce. Sit down, Bryce. Sit down. You're not going to... It's a couple questions. Yeah, There's a couple so questions cool. for you. So, no. Bryce, you were telling me you're a part of that seven... Um, what's the religion that you're from? Uh, Seventh-day Adventist. Seventh-day Adventist. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, you were telling me that it's a strict religion, correct? It's yeah. There's definitely a right wing in there, and I'd say most Adventists though are somewhat liberal now, but there's definitely uh, conservatives. Let me ask church. you something right now. So if you were, let's suppose my dad was a Seventh Day Adventist. 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 I've never heard of it before, so I don't even know. A lot of Filipinos are Seventh Day Adventists. Yeah. I've heard yeah. It. And yeah. so, what's considered rebellious? If I drink Coke, like a, uh, yeah, a caffeine's beverage, caffeine's not good. That's not good. What's worse, that or me sucking a dick? Uh, dick. <laughs> so dick is worse. Dick is worse. All right, I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know. I don't know anything so about the religion. It's homosexuality and abomination. It's an abomination. It it's is becoming more acceptable. California, some places, but yeah. for the most part, most Adventists, no, uh-huh. it's not. What if I? Okay, smoking pot is that wrong? That's wrong. Drugs are all wrong. Sucking dick. What's worse? Dick, dick is worse. Yeah, yeah dick, dick is, is worse. always no, worse. I'm, I'm just asking. asking. I'm Simon Gomorrah. Yeah, Simon and so, yeah. Gomorrah. Oh, so. that's oh, right. Yeah, yeah, Simon and Gomorrah. Okay. Yeah. So, but you're not a practicing Seventh Day guy. No, I mean, I still feel part of the culture because it's very, my, oh, my entire family, my parents, my grandparents, George. grandparents, great great grandparents. George. So it's, it's our family, it's who we are. And so yeah. It's hard to separate those two. And but your parents don't support your lifestyle. They would rather not live in LA and work in the industry. Yeah, right. Sure. So, so do, what does your mom know about you? She, she with the she, bad stuff. She knows that I drink, but she doesn't know that I drink every weekend and party with friends and things like that. So, it's did one she of those know that you that smoke pot, Bryce? She, she's aware. Does <laughs> no, she look at me. You, you smoke pot. Shrooms? She does not know that. Have no. you done okay. shrooms? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, this last weekend I was just in Joshua Tree. All right. Yeah. So, did you, have you done cocaine? Yeah. You've so, done cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Done yeah. everything. And um, you were telling me that you fucked ten women. Yeah. So at one time? No, okay, not it's, one time. It's his pre, whole life. His whole it's life. It's premarital oh. sex and abomination. That's not for good. Sure. It's not it's, good. You're not going to hell for it. Well, yeah. there's Evidence don't believe. But let me ask you this: all, is all, all that stuff combined wor- is sucking dick worse? Babe, babe, but hold on. Are you trying to join this religion? No, I was just wondering. Wait, hold on. But you guys, no one goes to hell then. No, Adventists do not believe in hell. So what is the repercussion of sucking dick? You don't get to go to heaven. Oh, so no. where do you stay? So, but the thing is, Adventist is weird because it's one of those things where if you have forgiveness, then you're good. And so... I was like Catholicism. Oh. Yeah. It's basically, yeah. So it's just, if, I it's, do, if you're actively doing it over and over again, you're not repentant right. of it, then you're in trouble. Then but that's see, where... my question to you, and you Christians, is this, okay? <laughs> so... <laughs> They, they believe that it, no matter what I do in my life, as long as by the end of my life I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, mm-hmm. that I get to go to heaven regardless of what my behavior was on planet Earth. Oh, yeah. So 
technically, have I talked about this about Jeffrey Dahmer? We've talked about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. Talked about this. Yeah, yeah. So that I, so Jeffrey Dahmer, if at the end of his life he accepted Jesus Christ, he'd be in. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's that applies to it's all so religions, dumb. even Catholicism. It's, so it's just you confess, you get yeah. a priest right, you know, on your deathbed, and all the same rules apply. I think. Do you believe that, Bryce? Yeah, for sure. You I believe think, in it. I think that that's something you need to, if you generally repent about it. I mean, that's that's what matters. And so, so yeah, you well, still need to spend time in you, prison. Like you still have to pay for your crimes and things like that. Mm-hmm. So but, you believe in your heart that if I don't accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, that I'm going to hell. <laughs> No, I, I'm no, not. No, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> I gotcha. All right. Ask again. Okay, so good. <laughs> look at my eyes. Do you believe that because I sucked this kid's dick and five others, some picture? family? Don't look at the photo. Well, I gotta show you the, the oh, oh, we can't. Oh, no, yeah, no, don't no, show no. the fucking photo That's kitty porn. I'm sorry. Again. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so sorry. We don't have that. We don't, we don't, don't have. Erase it. it I'm going to erase it. No, right don't erase it. It's funny. Hey, I'm it's, worried. It's just fun to have. <laughs> what? Oh, you think I'm going to go in my room and jerk off to that? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to delete not, it I'll right delete it. now. Well, I have it on my phone. He sent it to me, too. All right, so. Um, this is not right, But do you, think, you look at me. Do you think, you think I'm going to hell? No, I don't think. Thank don't you. That, That's so. really nice. Thank I'm you. I'm a very forgiving, open person, so uh-huh. I don't I don't buy into that. Good. No. Yeah, it's a, it's a um, you know, I, I, I wasn't raised with that, and I, I, just let me finish. Yeah. I wasn't raised with it, and many times in my life, I'll be driving down the street, and I'll think, "Am I going to hell?" I will really think that. Like, what are they right? But then I like, I come home and I watch like Olders for Youngers or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and then... It's um, <laughs> there is something to be said though about how Bryce and George are. They're gentle, they're accommodating, they really they're are. genuine, they're kind. They you guys have a very just overall goodness about you and I think that that has to be attributed to a close knit community even if it comes in the form of religion. You know, and I think there is something to be said you're, about growing up, you know, no matter like of what faith, but of a faith. You're my connection to rural America. It, just listen. <laughs> I don't. I don't know rural people. You're your conduit. You're the closest <laughs> that I've ever met in terms of rural. You're from country, correct? Yeah. The country. I grew up in the country. I had a, it, on uh, a farm. Yeah. Exactly. So. Right. You grew up in a farm. Yeah. Right. You raise chickens now. Yeah. Correct. Still do. Mm-hmm. Still do yeah. Right. You're pasty white. <laughs> still am. Still Yeah. Am. Yeah. You're pasty white. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you're my connection. To the middle of America. And so that's why I like you. That's why I, I ask you questions. Even for the podcast, I asked him a bunch of questions mm-hmm. about his life because I, he's my connection to it. And I want to learn. He and was I want grilling to me. It I was, was grilling it was him. tough. I was sweating. He was sweating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were here by ourselves. And mm-hmm. I was just grilling him with questions. But, um, but I, I, believe, I believe that you're a good dude. And I believe that you and George have really good work ethic. You guys really do. You guys really have helped out this podcast immensely yeah we appreciate that yeah man. and um i don't trust you <laughs> <laughs> i i accept that yeah. yeah okay good so i don't trust you <laughs> because you come in here with your little smirky smirk i smirk a lot i, I know yeah. and you're that little uh, there's something going on with your eyes yeah. <laughs> no really when he laughs his eyes you know how the, they have white people get the crow's feet mm. but inside there's a fucking there's mischief and mis- mystery going on mm. And I'm going to get to the bottom of it. See what he's doing right there? He's I'll doing be here, Bobby. It's called the Clint Eastwood. Look, he's doing no, the Clint Eastwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I gotta see how, what he does like yeah, that? Yeah, he squints it like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying. I'm working you squint, on it. babe. I know because I was born that way. <laughs> I know. I'm asking you to squint. Squint for me. I'm, that's <laughs> close, close, that's closing my eyes. I'll close my eyes. So, um, so George is in Michigan right now with his family. That's a story. Yeah, that is. Well, he's sticking to it. That's too, he's sticking so, to yeah. it. Yeah. And um, good. Good. Thank you, Bryce. Oh, thank you, Thank Bobby. you for that interview. It's a weird religion, but it's fine. Um, and- speaking of um, little boy, little naked boys, <laughs> um, this past Saturday was um, a big day for you. It was National Molestation Day. Mm. And I hope that you received a lot of messages and a lot of support. None. For none. No. From none of the Tiger Belly fans. No, because I don't get the Tiger Belly um, feeds f- for my Twitter, mm. you know, or I don't look at the Instagram. That's your guys' thing, and I should, but I didn't. Mm-hmm. So if you guys want to um, send me, um, what would you like? 
just you know my own Instagram and Twitter would be nice. So they say they me. say NMD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. NMD Bobby Balloon Little Balloon Emoticon. Yeah, but it was National Malala Sensation Day, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's so weird that like my brother would send me those photos of that kid, but um. Well, you weren't molested by that kid. Well, um, that's not true. You guys were the same age. It's <laughs> not mean, molestation. No, I know, if but it's the can same I just age. say this? That's just hypersexuality. He was the cool kid. Yeah. Mm. He was the cool kid in school. Mm -hmm. And so he would literally, and usually when I did gay stuff, it was when I was drunk. Mm -hmm. With him, he would just grab the back of my head. Oof. Yeah, and just go suck it like that. It was rough. Yeah. It was rough. You could tell by the picture. We don't yeah. have pictures. Yeah, <laughs> you could tell. And then the later, thoughts. he got in a car, uh, motorcycle accident. Ooh, don't oh. don't give specifics now. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He Is he alive? He's alive. Oh, thank oh, God. God. But you know what happened? <sighs> you know what happened? What? He got in a motorcycle accident and it ripped half his dick off. No, that's a lie. It's not a lie. Whoa. And guess who did that? God. You didn't oh. do that with my mind. <laughs> you just. I believe I did it with my mind. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But anyway, um, I haven't seen him But in your years. brother said you guys got it on all uh, the time. I, I could say stuff about my brother right now that he told me. Listen, every, t just no, listen, I'll stop. Tiger Belly fans, listen to me right now. I love my brother dearly. But when I started this podcast, he pulled me aside. And he goes, dude, you can't talk about this. You can't talk about this. It was a list of 30 things. Mm. Okay. So I could put my brother on blast right now, and I can't fucking believe that he would send photos like that. To me? To you. I love him. I know. I love him, too. I mean, no, we don't love <laughs> him. I don't love no, the photos, love but I love... It's funny to me. Yeah. It's funny to me. It's funny. But there's a line. Yeah. Okay? So I'm not talking about that anymore. Okay. Everyone that listens knows that that happened. All right? Okay. I want to talk about positive shit. Yeah. And the next positive thing I want to fucking bring up was something that we saw last night. Oh, yes. <gasps> We saw the movie The Arriving. Arrival. You already fucked it up. Oh. What's it called? You didn't even know the fucking title. What's it called? The Arrival. The Arrival. The Arrival. The Arrival. The arrival. The arrival. Oh my God, my Jeremy. What'd I say? What'd I say? My the Arriving. No, I didn't. You said The Arriving. Oh, uh, whatever. They arrived. That is true. They did. They <laughs> actually Regardless did Regardless if they were arriving or they did. Arrival. They're coming. They're coming to Earth. They're coming. Amy Adams, Jeremy, Jeremy. Renner. Hey, let me say something Forrest right now. Whitaker. I did not want to go. For what reason? I don't know. I just didn't want to go. And... Because mainly because my brother said it was a masterpiece. Last week, my brother was on tour and he texted me, You got to watch The Arrival. It's a masterpiece. And the things that he calls masterpieces are weird. Like, like, what um, movie that he thinks? Mission to Mars. It was a movie called Mission, but he called it a masterpiece. It was a piece of shit. Mm. But um, we saw it. And, you know, halfway during the movie, I'm like, This is pretty good. It's well paced. What I loved is sound design. Mm -hmm. Also, they made some very strong choices about. The aliens depicting the aliens, and they made them like very something that we've never seen before in movies. And um, I thought I was really didn't have an opinion about Amy Adams, but by watching her in this movie, I'm like, wow, she's amazing. This bitch can fucking act her ass off. Oscar? Oh no. yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh yeah. And then about seventy percent into eighty percent into the movie, mm -hmm. I just found myself weeping. Yeah. Oh, it's the last. I'd say the last twenty minutes of the movie. All you heard was. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was an alien. Yeah. And, sound yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. I look, and he's not just teary eyed. I mean, his body is like convulsing. Yeah. Yeah. It really got to me. It made me so. It made me cry. But then I and was, it, and, 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 it, and, and the part that I was crying at wasn't even sad. It wasn't. Yeah, I, like I started crying when. I, it wasn't even, and then when it got sad, <laughs> I lost, it, was, uh, lost, I lost it. it. I lost yeah. it. Admit it. You only started crying when I leaned over and whispered in your ear and made you realize the twist of the movie. No. You wouldn't even understand no, it up until I know, that I know. point. No, no, no. Here's what happened. I was crying before that, mm -hmm. but about the Chinese dude. Yeah. Okay? I don't know why, Yeah. but that Chinese dude made me cry. That scene was, it was pretty okay. emotional, yeah. It made me cry. And, yeah. then, and then when you told me what it was, mm -hmm. right? Then I had to think about it. Yeah. So I didn't cry right away. I didn't really understand what you were saying. You were just saying, if you haven't seen the movie, that's why I'm not. I'm, I'm being very yeah. vague right yeah. now. But there's a point in the movie where there's a little bit of a kind of a switch. It's a big realization. Right, realization. It's a big switch. It's a big switch. So when she told me, I go, I don't and I thought about it, and then 
when it clicked, I just started crying like yeah. that. And then your your sister cried. Oh, we were all crying. I think. But I, no, no, stop. Go ahead. Renzo didn't cry. I mean. He's a cop. doesn't matter. And because he didn't cry, mm-hmm. I like the guy. In fact, I will say I love him. Yeah. But there's a little bit of a thing now. What's a little thing? Because a man didn't cry. He thought he loved the movie. No, but still, there's a little bit of a thing. Like something's off. Yeah, you, you gotta cry. <laughs> if I'm crying, you gotta cry. You gotta cry. <laughs> and also, your mom didn't cry. Because so. my mom didn't understand. She didn't understand any of it. Yeah, she didn't understand any of it. It looks like octopus. Yeah, yeah. That's what she said. Darling, it looks like octopus. That's her question. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, um, nope. I thought that it was so brilliant this movie and if you're going into it looking for a huge action movie you're gonna be like it's not you're gonna be disappointed but there's so much more to it it reminds that. me of 2001 space odyssey the kubrick film because of the fact that it's um there's just symbolism you know like the you know the, the spaceship kind of looks like the monolith in mm-hmm. 2001 right. right and um there is you know in 2001 there is a, a sense of time yeah. which is a time is a very big thing yeah in this movie and um it was just well made and um it, and it was and also Eric Griffin today said yeah he loved it cuz him and I disagree about everything yeah he didn't like the witch he didn't like the witch but he said you know that he gave props to it so it was just a really i haven't seen a movie like that in many many years yeah i really enjoyed it it was well done and congrats yep. to anyone involved in that mm-hmm. and a chink wrote it Ted really Chang. yeah yeah Ted Chang. Oh, a chink wrote it why is yeah. A Chinese guy, I mean. <laughs> he's a chink. So he's... You're a little chinky <laughs> yourself. Like, I'm very chinky. Yeah. You know? I, and um, I also want to say that when I was at the Pasadena I have high Ice House this weekend, mm-hmm. a lot of Tiger Belly fans, mm-hmm. and I'm beginning to think um, that maybe this is all I want to do now. This? Maybe. Like retire from stand-up? No, I want to do stand-up. But there is a sense of a connection that you have with people that listen to this than I have, and I don't, I don't have with other people that yeah. are fans, you know? There is a bigger, so they, they're more dedicated. Yeah, they're more, it's, it's a crazy. more dedicated fan base. Like there's that one dude, I forgot his name, I like him a lot. He's like kind of an older, he looks Puerto Rican or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he comes in, he just, when he sees me, he just smiles. And mm-hmm. I know that face, because I saw him at a different show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I just, it's almost as if they're kind of family in a weird way. I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm being sentimental because of the whole Hail Trump shit that's going on and Steve Bannon and all that stuff that's going mm-hmm. on in, the, in politics. <gasps> and that, that all, all that other stuff is, um, wow, Mitt Romney is a real fucking coward, is he not? He Wait. does Mitt Romney, this that's piece of shit. That's the definition of politics. No, it's like, this piece let's of all stab shit. each other in the back this and then let's all hug shit. it out later. Six months ago, does a, he he does a speech condemning Trump oh, yeah. out of his he goes out of his way, right, saying this is bad for the Republican Party, yada yada yada, and now he is meeting with fucking Trump, you know, and poor Chris Christie and poor Rudy Giuliani. Oh my God, these guys they stick were his their ride neck or die. Out. <laughs> stick, they stick their neck out for this guy for a year. You know, putting their reputations on the line. And they just, I don't think they're going to get what they think they're going to get. And I love it. It's pretty fun to watch. Yeah, I love watching them suffer. Yeah. Especially that Giuliani. Gollum. He debated really hard. My mom said something really weird about Rudy Giuliani. What did she say? He looks like an octopus. Not the octopus, but she was. funny. Darling, (laughs) I look. Call back. Thank you, sir. Thank you. (laughs) Every time I look at his face, I want to. Shut the fuck up, man. (laughs) Thanks. Yeah, what do you say? She goes, every time I look at his face, I want to pull his teeth out. Yeah, she did like, say that's that. That's so weird. You know, at dinner? She said that, like, yeah, I remember. That's so weird. I don't know if that's because you want to torture him. Out. She goes, no, there's something about his face that makes me want to pull his teeth out. He I'm does like, that's look like weird he has to weak, say, Ma. weak teeth. <laughs> well, why would you pull it this. out then? You just let it fall. No, he just, he just looks like he has fragile teeth, that he's in pain all the time. Yeah. Because during that one um, dinner where they're making jokes, what was it? The um, correspondence, or it wasn't the correspondence one. It was about oh, the, the one right, right before. Yeah, it's uh, the yeah, last one. the last one. You see Giuliani in the audience, and he's not laughing. He looks like his teeth are in pain. He looks a little curmudgeonly. Yeah. Oh, his bottom teeth. Yeah. yeah. His bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 
And also, for, before I forget, I have to do this, baby. I'm so sorry. Okay. Dun da 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 Anyone following me and my destiny voyage knows that I've never been to the lighthouse. I did Friday. I went to the lighthouse Friday on Trials of Osiris, and this kid high fix. H y, f i k z. His name is Brett. He's from. Vancouver mm-hmm. cool. and him and this kid named Cool Kid mm-hmm. brought me to the lighthouse and it was everything that I dreamed of. What I, did you get? I got um an ornament for my arms mm-hmm. and then a couple of like a banner and so, uh, like, I got like a head piece or something and then um I want more. Can you go back? I need to go back. We I, tried yesterday but it didn't work out. I have out. a question. So, like, do do your other friends that you were playing with, like Danny Garcia, since they didn't take oh, yeah. you to the lighthouse, like, do they feel a little betrayal from you? No, because they went to the lighthouse today and um, twice already. But they don't have that. They, they can't. It's not. I'm so terrible mm-hmm. that I can't. It's basically, it's three versus three. But when you're playing with me, it's two versus three. Oh, two v three. Because I'm terrible. Mm-hmm. I'm shooting into the sky. <laughs> I'm s- running in circles you for no really, reason. You get really bad all of a I don't know. I can't, I, there's some matches where I don't see anybody. <laughs> like, I'm just dead. Yeah. I don't know what happened, you know. And they go, you know, yeah, you were ch- running in circles. And then they stabbed you in the neck. And then you're like, oh. <laughs> I didn't see anybody. That's I didn't how, see anybody. I'm in terrible. I <laughs> I'm absolutely terrible. Yeah. But this guy, Hyfix, was the best player I'd ever seen in my fucking life. And so I'm giving us a shout out. I did give him. I donated to his um, Twitch channel, though. Nice. How much? A hundred dollars. Oh, that's pretty good. That's you good stuck to your lighthouse. promise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, but I said I'm gonna give him fifty from now on. Each time. Yeah. It's a pretty good deal. You know, and anyone listening right now, the same deal goes out to you. If I, you want, if let me t- uh, might listen to me right now, Bryce, and everybody in the room, and I know people don't play Destiny and you don't give a fuck or whatever. But what I'm saying to you is, anyone listening, I'll give you 50 bucks to take me to the fucking lighthouse. PayPal, let's Venmo it, however you want to do it. Mm-hmm. But that's how, and it, this is the mic, this is, when I get enough pieces, I'm going to quit the game. Oh, damn. Because then I'll have everything and I'll be bored. Mm. Huh, baby? I wish that you had gotten to the lighthouse a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Is it driving you crazy? No, but then you know you had promised before that you weren't going to um, scream anymore because it was um, causing me a lot of anxiety. Uh-huh. Um, so lately you've been really up in um, <coughs> your, your screams again. That's not true. Okay. I make a point to, to, to do silent yells. Mm. Mm. Like, oh, yeah! like, you know what I mean? Like keep it inside. Mm. I might get a stroke or something, but um, yeah, I've been making the point to do that. What's wrong? No, the side. Why you look, look at me like you look at pain when you're screaming. You know, I do. I, I, I like, yeah. But um, what's up with you, Gilbert? <laughs> not much. <laughs> what do you mean? Why would God, you? You're so not open. We need to grill this guy, sweetie. You can grill me. Yeah, I mean, you here's the thing with you, Gilbert. Here's the thing with you, Gilbert. Here's the thing with you, Gilbert. Is the last couple of months you've been coming on this podcast? You haven't been talking about much. You come in. You came in with a bunch of packages <laughs> today. You did. You came with a I bunch did, of packages. You don't really say hi. I said, what's you up, said, man? Nah, and yeah, one time this, I said yeah, hi to you, you pushed me on the ground one time. Yeah, because you did, <laughs> the timing was wrong. But you come in. <laughs> what? Yeah, the timing was wrong. Hey, what's up, Bobby? Whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, Why am I on the ground? You shouldn't have done it then. Okay. Um, But you come in. We don't know anything about what's going on in your life. So you're in an ABC showcase. Uh, CBS. Well, CBS yeah. Here's showcase. why I didn't want to tell you first, because they were cutting people left and right. And I didn't want to announce that I was in it and then get cut, because they cut a bunch of people. Are oh, you still in it? I made it all the way to Thanksgiving, so if I don't get cut tomorrow, I'm safe till January. So you're in the CBS uh, Diversity, Diversity Showcase, Diversity showcase. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and you ran into Esther Koo there? Esther Koo, uh, sh- yeah, she was there. She knew a couple people, and she was trying to see if she wanted to be a writer for the uh, showcase. The showcase, okay. Yeah. And then, um, is there some, something hey, that- Jesus was there, too. Trejo was there, Trejo my was there. boy Jesus Trejo was hey, there. Hey, Gilbert. Oh, yeah. man, you're hilarious, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, what? Yeah, yeah, Jesus, yeah. Hey. Is there something that I can go and watch? You can actually come and probably speak. 
speak like, at what speak on one because like, like uh, casting directors, managers, agents come before the actual during rehearsals. Stand it up. I want to speak. speak. You should speak. No, seriously. Rick Nahara is the director. Oh, yeah. Tell Rick Bobby yeah, wants yeah. to speak. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. I Don't ru- make I, promises he can't keep. He's not going to show gonna up. They're going to sell it. I am He's coming. Go. Everyone come to rehearsal. I, I will go. If we tape it, can we tape it? I don't think they tape it. No, we can pers- sneak in a thing. Me- we well, can't say it on air. We're sneaking in a camera. Yeah, Bobby. Yeah, we're, fucking that. Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm gonna t- do, will you set that up? Yeah. Yeah. Can I plug something real quick? Yeah, plug it. Do you mind? No. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> what, what are is you it? plugging? Just listen. To relax. Um. So what I'm plugging now is uh, the what I'm plugging now is this, which is where is it? Where is it? The show. Look at his thumbs. What do you mean my thumbs? Ugh. Why oh, you look so disgusted? Because they're disgusting. <laughs> my thumbs. <laughs> Baby, why do you date me then? Oh, here it is. Your other January seventh and eighth, two thousand seventeen, comedy theory class. Hey. Oh, fan. I already did. <laughs> so sign up, San like Diego <laughs> at the Young Actors Theater. Why are you plugging his shit, man? Come on. Uh, and what then it? Monday I'm going to be at the um, at the um. I'm sorry about what I said about your thumbs. I'm dating you for the other not um eight fingers you have, which are pretty good and solid. You no, know, you know pe- people used to make fun of my thumbs all the time, man. Well, you do that to your thumbs. The, no, they were born. The, I was born. The, like, no, this. they weren't born all chewed up like that. No, but look how see how this one's bigger than this one. Okay, this asymmetrical, which is no. Fine. Look, look. Why is that that way? That's genetics. Mm. Wait, hold on. Which one is bigger, your right or your left? This left is bigger one. than. Look at how big, much bigger it is. They're deformed. Wait, the nail or the thumb? The thumb. Yeah, but that's okay. You don't have to be symmetrical. To be able to function well. Yeah, but your fingers are normal. They they look are you like kidding me? one. I have and, a broken finger. Yeah, but here. that one is yeah. Like my one leg, my right leg is a little. Bryce, bit do you have taller. any d- deformities on your body? Oh, look at me. No, no. don't do that. No. Come on. Do you have one? Like you have like a mole or a wart on your? Oh yeah, we oh, should. What's the one there? thing you're most insecure about? Your nose, okay. You're Gilbert? insecure about it. You look in the mirror and you go, oh, I hate that. I just have a good side and a bad side. Yeah. So I'll say the thing that Bobby called out one time when I like mooned you guys on here. He's like, or I mooned him off camera and he was like, babe, he was like, I got to talk about it. So I mooned you here. He called out the patch of hair I just have on my left butt cheek. There's oh. no there's no hair on my mole? butt cheek. Yeah. No, no, not a mole. It's, no, it's like Can I probably see it 70 again? hairs. May I see it again? I'm going to show. I have to. Okay, you have yeah, to see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I may see it Can again. I see it? I never saw it. Yeah, let me see it again. But don't, turn I can't see it. I have to feel it first. <laughs> what well, the she, she, let me see the whole thing oh oh my, oh my god. god you, have, you the, have a little tuft of hair there also you have a, like spina bifida they have the little tuft of hair yeah. I don't know what that I shave it it's the only part that grows back your ass is so flat no it's not no it's not I just he saw it he has a bubble flat. butt it is it's bigger way bigger than yours but can I just say something yeah his cheeks <laughs> no, <this is laughs> the way your hands are his cheeks are white but then when it gets to the fucking dark areas, yeah. it's too dark. Oh, it's it gets dark. It gets so it looks like dark. the abyss. But that's the Filipino, like, yeah, we, No, I color. hate it. We have the deep purple. I hate it. It's, like, pale and then also just dark. Yours gets dark, Babe, probably. have nah. you not seen my asshole? It's pretty dark. Let me see your asshole. No, not really. <laughs> 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 that can have fucking the bent over. Let, let, what am I? I want to show you mine. Okay, show okay. me yours. Well, don't be careful. Yeah, let me Babe, we're going low brow again. I don't give a fuck. We're going low. What about this? Uh, hang on. Why is it your oh, butt cheeks so really, so really tight? They're really so tight. So nice. I, know. I, I mean, you. we're like really like, good. out of the three of us, we probably have the best butt. I told you. Oh my God. I told you. <laughs> mine, I yours might be a little bit, ooh, yours might be a little darker than mine. Yeah, yeah. But was there a poop in there or anything like that? No, no, no. 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 Just hair. It was hard to spread. They're so tight. I was like, you were like yanking his my, ass My no, my butt was known to be very tight. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. We've talked about yeah, this. Yeah. He cries. When I poop, when... it looks like angel hair pasta. That's so <laughs> fucking tight, man. Yeah. It's so tight. <laughs> it's like, um, you know, my poop really is stringy. It's like, um, it's like spaghetti. That's you might have a small bowel obstruction, sweetie. Is that bad? No, no, no. that's good. Right? No. Mm. Do you know why? And I'm going to tell you why. Because when you poop, I know we're going low brow today, but it doesn't matter. It's a science. Okay? Yeah. It's a science. We're talking about science right now. Okay. Is that when I poop, I make it make sure. That I don't do long shits. Mm. I don't like it when it's like completely one chunk. Yeah. 
I like to clinch. Mm. So I clinch halfway during it. You like to break it. I like to break it apart. Into segments. Yeah. Okay, so what are you, and be real, Mm. what is the one thing growing up or to this day that you're you're slightly, I know you're a very, you love your body and you're very confident, but there has to be something that you're insecure about. I used to be insecure about every single thing about my face and my body. I really was. I hated myself. Growing up, I used to, as a kid, look in the mirror and go, because, you know, I mean, when you're a kid in Minnesota, because when I was in you know, elementary school, I, I went to a diner in Minnesota I lived in, and um, there was all white kids. And you would go home, and, and you look, and you go, oh, I'm different, you know? And then I went to um, my fifth year, fifth grade, I went to Painted Rock Elementary School, which was in San Diego. And then you saw, like, Filipinos. My cousin Andy was going to Painted Rock, too. And other kids that were like more brown and stuff, and then you kind of went, oh, but I didn't like myself until my I was twenty three. Oh, at twenty three, I just thought, oh, it's cool because I look different, you know, and I am different, and it, and it helped me with comedy. Mm. I don't believe that I would have made it or gotten far in it if I was a white guy. Yeah. But also imagine growing up in a sea of other Koreans. You would have not felt very special either. Like if you were born and raised in Korea and you look around, you're like, wow, everybody fucking looks like me. Yeah, that would have been tough too. But yeah. I mean, I, um, I maybe I would have felt normal as a kid in Korea. And then as I got a little older, I wish I was different. But the reverse happened here where I went, oh, it's cool to be different. But what are you insecure about today aside Nothing. from that giant pimple on your Nothing. face? Nothing. You don't even wow. care about that pimple. You do care about your adult acne. No, I, I only care about the pain. <laughs> like, they you always know, go you around know, his nose. Like, like the pain, the one that's right below oh, the nostril. Or even, right that, or yeah. even in? Is yeah. the oh, worst. my God. That's the Why worst. Why do these ones hurt oh, they so hurt bad? They hurt so bad. It's like ISIS. That's what I call it. It's like a little <laughs> an ISIS camp right here. It's like this is Aleppo. I so call them the little Aleppos. The little Aleppos. Yeah. Zero insecurities then. No, because when you look like I do... You realize, oh, I know what I, in terms of women, what I can get, what I can't get, right? And as a, I'm kind of a terrible person. So, (laughs) in terms of friends and stuff, I don't really have a lot of friends. I mean, we talked about it yesterday. Mm. I don't really have a lot of friends. It's not that I'm a bad person, it's just that I'm just private and I don't like to. It's so weird how you say you, you are private. But it's such a contrast to how you are on a podcast or how you are when you do speak to people. It's like you're so open. But when you actually live your life, you you know, it is a very yeah, small Okay, circle. so when I'm at a comedy club and I see fans, I'll hug people. I'll take photos. Mm-hmm. And I can talk to people, you know, because I'm being – especially Tiger Belly fans. I don't generally do it with other people. But with Tiger Belly fans, I want to because I feel like they know me because of this podcast and whatnot. But it's like in my private life, I don't today. I'm, I'm just going to read you. I'm not. This is not. I'm not lying. This is the text. I'm going to read you the text I got today. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's start with um, Eric Griffin at 2.41 p.m. He says, you Korean fuck face. Just that's it. Out of the blue. Out of the blue. So, you know, that's nice. <laughs> so, you know, that's good. And then at 3.25 p.m., Chris D'Elia just sends me this random photo of us together about 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So we were younger, right? I don't know what the fuck he wants me to respond with. Like, wow, we've known each other for so long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But no response. Yeah. I don't okay. give a fuck. Okay? Yeah. And then um, it goes to this kid. Hey, it's Brett. Hi, Fick. This is my number. I go, thanks for your help. No worries. And then I go, did you get the money? He goes, yeah, thanks a lot. I go, 50 bucks from now on. He mm-hmm. goes, absolutely, anytime. Mm-hmm. So those are the kind of interactions interactions I have. I don't have like, how are you? What's going on with you and your feelings? I care, but I don't have those kind of things. I don't have mm-hmm. any friends. You know, I kind of had a falling out with Charlie. Do you care to explain to find once and no, for all? No, it's going to make me cry. About? It'll make me cry. Yeah, 
I don't want to talk about it because I don't want him. I don't want to even have the conversation with him. If mm-hmm. it's a sensitive subject, I don't. don't even, I don't to. even want him to call me and go. Let's talk about it because I'm just kind of just right now. There's a thing, you know, mm-hmm. and um. Other than that, I really don't have any friends. Well, you have us. I know, but. And we will never. I know. I will never let you down. Well, you have never. <laughs> So How? many times, baby. So I fucking times. feed you. I bathe you. I wipe your ass practically. Well, I mean, you let me down the other day. Why? Because I wanted. I didn't want you to play video games on a Tuesday. No. Um. I'll tell the story. I wasn't gonna do it. Okay. But, go um, ahead. So I go. Hey, me and um, I'm gonna run Gobi downstairs. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So um, I what I ha- what happens? I go down to the garage, and. You know, I live in a condominium, so there's a garage for everybody. And so I close the door and I realize that I don't have any keys or a cell phone on me. So I go, you know what? I'll just run them. You know, Clyde will come down. So I run Kobe for about 30 minutes with this tennis ball. We go back and forth. I give him treats. And then I couldn't open the door. We were down there for hours. It was so was drama. Hours. You're so drama. It was two hours. It wasn't. Two it hours? was yeah, yeah. 45 Holy minutes. No, it wasn't 45 minutes. That's fucking bullshit. And mind you, it was it's at fucking four. Bullshit. It was at four in the morning, so I was kind of dozing off, and then I realized I was like, you know what? Yeah. He hasn't been back in a while, so I was putting my flip flops on, and I was on my way down, and sure enough, he you know barges through the door, and he's like, where the fuck were you? Like I was supposed to know that he didn't have keys or a cell phone. So what I was doing is, you know, I was like MacGyver down there. I go, I got to figure this out. So what I was going to do is I was going to go outside, uh-huh. right? So I pried the door open to go outside because this whole – every door is locked to get into the building. And then I was going to hop over a fence, and I had a fucking – I had pennies. I was going to throw out the window. But then I'm like, where do I put Gobi because I didn't have a leash as my dog, right? Mm. So I'm gonna, I'll, put her in, I'll put him in the dumpster. <laughs> but then I thought – but I thought so. I'm, I'm putting <laughs> Gobi in the dumpster, and I was and I was thinking to myself, I literally for a split second I went, if Kalila knows that I put the dog in the She'll dumpster, that she would get really angry. I just had a feeling that she would get angry. Yeah. So I take her him out of the dumpster, and I go, I'm just gonna have to wait down here. I would have was coming to your rescue. Yeah, Bobby. and then so then the gay dude next door. The gay Asian dude next door. The one that we previously had beef with but that we don't have we beef, no beef with have beef anymore. Oh, squashed. Squashed. Uh, he goes, hey, what's going on? I go, oh, Kalila. And she's like, oh, come in. So I, I brought the dog in and I yelled at Kalila, but that's not you being there for me. That's you being that's rude not... and having no sense of time. In fact, <laughs> no, no that was the time. opposite of the arrival. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> that was you not being there for you. You walk down there with no keys, no cell phone at fi- four thirty in the morning. That's yeah. your bad. My dad's gonna die. Stop saying Jesus, that. Man. <laughs> Don't say it like yeah, that, no, Bobby. Yeah, I just, I'm, it's coming. I feel it. Are you guys going well, to Phoenix he's again? Ill. Yeah. We are. You going to Phoenix again? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, you know, I, you know, I don't know how I'm. Gonna, I don't know what's going on, but I, I, you know, that's real. And I know this is a comedy podcast, but fuck it. My dad is 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 almost there. I believe. Today, I talked to my brother, and my dad was in the background, and he go, my dad go, my brother goes, put, he puts um, me on speakerphone. He go, hi, dad, and this is what he went. He went, Ooh! he starts crying, just hearing my voice. Mm-hmm. No, and when a man hears his son's voice to cry, that's a man who him he says to himself that this is the end. Mm-hmm. Or he's just emotional. No, no, no. This is a, that was no, that was a guttural. And my brother's like, "Oh my god, what the fuck?" I go, "You don't really want to put me on speaker and stop sending photos of that guy, to, to Kalila, <laughs> kid you butts." Know? So that's what my brother's doing. My brother's taking care of my father and sending photos of people I sucked off. You know what's so? <laughs> this is gonna sound god damn it, really god fucked damn it, up. Yeah, but when my dad was. I guess on his way out in retrospect there were some really really funny moments yeah you like told me one that really made me laugh funny moments like yeah tell him about when the when my dad was sort of losing it like he wasn't as lucid anymore and he his pain medications he was taking like a heavy dose of codeine so he was losing his mind a little bit mm-hmm. you know 
And he was he was bedridden, but he was at home. And, you know, my mom's sister and I took care of him. But I wasn't home. I was in San Diego and I received a phone call. And my dad was frightened on the phone. He goes, my darling, my darling, there's a tall, dark woman here. And I think she's here to kill me. She's here to kill me. And like my heart was racing. But then all you all of a sudden you, I hear in the background my sister crying. My like, Papa, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your daughter too. Yeah. Oh, and man. he would he would it was sad then. I felt bad for my sister. But like in retrospect, that shit's hilarious. And what was the other one that you told me? He one time he he took all he had an attache case that he would um travel with everywhere. He was able to kind of unlock his attache case take his passports, shove it in his diaper, and he's like, Miller! Miller! Take me to the Greek ambassador! Like, he was living a life... I don't know... Miller. Yeah. Miller? Who like, the fuck is Miller? I was gonna ask, who yeah. is that? I have no idea. And then he started... You know, his first, his mother tongue is French. And he all he wouldn't speak English anymore, and he would just look at us and speak French. But that's when you be, said that's when you said that that was the end. You knew that the, that was gonna the be end bad. came for me when I was like, okay, the end is near. When he started speaking French and he started to refer to his dad, he he would say "dado" a lot, and I was like, oh, he's seeing or talking to people that aren't even here anymore or who have passed. So I took that as okay, that the end is near. And I think three weeks later, he passed. Oh, okay, I'm gonna. You know what? I, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call speakerphone my brother right now. Oh, hold on. Is it too late? Maybe ten forty six. I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna speakerphone my brother. Okay. And I, I need it because of what you just said. Um, it really just let me just do it. Why does he still have a ring back tone? <laughs> They're cool, dude. It's new. It's new. It's new and hip, guys. From Cricket Wireless. <laughs> Is it Cricket? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Boost Mobile. <laughs> We're on the phone with Steve Lee right now. I'm about to be. He's not gonna pick up. What do you think Has he's to. doing? I don't know. Destiny? No, he didn't bring the Xbox. So sleeping. But why that song? <laughs> it's a good song. It's the classic one. Oh, you don't get to choose, maybe. Yeah. I'll just leave a message. Yeah. Hey, Steve, stop sending photos to Kalila and myself of, of kids I sucked off. <laughs> number one. And number two, if dad starts talking to his own dad in Korean, let me know because that's the end. So, so grim. But a very. It's a very not nice message to leave somebody. I knew this is real. This is real shit. I'm Jesus. not I'm not mincing words. I'm getting to the point. This is real life. I can't believe it, guys. Wait, hold on. Do you want to hear something cool? I'm not done. Speaking of death. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. You. First. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm done. No, I'm not. I'm not done with the. Po- I thought you, you just interrupted me like as if I was done with the podcast. No, no, no. I'm not done with the podcast. Go ahead. Speaking of death. Yeah. Um, there is a 14 year old girl in England, who she just recently passed, but she had the court system. Basic. She had the courts, um, basically agree. To carry out her death wish, which is to be like cryogenized, like to be cryogenically, like f- to be frozen and preserved so that down down the road, maybe she can be, you know, revived in a different. That happens all the time. No, I know. But a 14 year old girl, she doesn't. Her parents are responsible for her. So oh. it's like usually okay. you can make your own choices as an adult, but she couldn't. And her dad didn't agree to it, but her mom did. So she ha- she went to court. And the court sided with her and said, yeah, like her. Well, she had a disease? What disease? She had cancer. Mm. So yeah. she's now frozen? Yeah, but then she had, her, she had her body shipped to the United States. My question is this, is that when that happens, like Walt Disney had that done, right? Yeah. You know yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. So how do you know that they're going to defrost you when time is, the time is like, gone? Yeah, when does it happen? Or when the time is right. Yeah, so a thousand years later, some guy that works at the company goes, I guess. This is the time. No. But if for a fourteen year old, what, 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 nah, fuck it. As a fourteen year old dying, and you never really had too much time on Earth, I think you just want a second shot at anywhere, anytime. That's the saddest thing you should. Really oh, sad. that almost made me cry. That's sad. Why'd you bring that up? Because it's real. It's so sad. Yeah. Fourteen years in. Do, do you have a photo of her? Mm, no, I don't. Oh, how do you? We know you didn't make it up. <laughs> I didn't. <but> I <laughs> look, look at her face. Look at her face. Look at her. Who would make yeah, something yeah. like that up? Well, then I got one. Then too, you have no photo to prove. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, a twelve-year-old boy. Yeah. Uh-oh. But he had lupus. Oh no. Right, but severely. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. And he was growing into his brain. 
Okay, lupus is an autoimmune disorder. It doesn't grow. What it's not did, a tumor. But this one did. Okay. This, and his name was Raphael. Okay. <laughs> and um, he he believes um, that if he was buried on the moon, that it's going to preserve his body. So he is on the moon now being preserved. Do you have a picture? No. <laughs> but I believe you. He's like, thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. You know I what mean, I mean? There probably isn't a photo. She's a minor. <laughs> no, you just make shit up, and it <laughs> really makes me fucking angry. About remember the poop pills? You didn't believe that people actually ate that poop pills true. to yeah, treat yeah. like yeah. C diff? Yeah, but you had photos of it. No, I didn't. You, yeah, you, you did. still don't believe me. If I Google poop pills, it's gonna they're gonna have photos. Yes. If I Google fourteen year old girl cryogenic whatever cryogenically frozen. frozen. Yeah. How, where are we at at time? We're at uh, fifty one. Okay. This is a weird podcast. Okay, we got through it. Uh, fans, no, no, but stop, stop. I want to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Am I not doing a well job? You're not doing, doing a, a well, well job. job at this podcast thing. I feel like the last couple, I've been not, I've been off. It's the Trump. Okay, world. so we have options here. Either we do what other people in podcasts do, which is come with a game plan, a set list. But I don't think we operate well like that. If we were we're off the cuff also, type of people, people, you know, we're having a guest next week. Yeah, so we'll be a little more prepared then. Can we reveal Suppose, it yeah, I mean, he said he would do it. Michael Rosenbaum. Mm-hmm. I'm very excited. And he's very from excited. Small Ma- Bill. S- and many other things. And, and, and millions Luther. of other things. Lex Luthor. Yeah, and um, but yeah, I don't. It's like I, I want to do it. The podcast. Yeah. But there's just things going on in my life that just is is crazy. You have a few barriers right now. My dad, Trump, all that stuff is like really affecting me. And um, I'm also 45. I'm going through a midlife crisis, I think. Oh, are you going to buy a motorcycle? Do it. Do you think I should? I think you should fucking do it. And a Tesla. Put my hair out. I just fucking gave my motorcycle. Yeah. Or a leather jacket and just go ride the road. Yeah. Or we could just ride bicycles. Uh, oh. <laughs> I Wait. just... Um, Why not? I need to go to AA meetings or something. Please. Dear God, please do that. When was the last time you went? Months and months and months. Mm. Probably like three months. No, I'm longer even. I don't think so. I used to go with Charlie. The last time I went with, with Charlie. Now, can you... I don't understand why you can't you can't go without him. No, I'm going to go by myself. Now, this whole Charlie thing, do you think it's going to be squashed sometime yes. soon? Okay. Oh, okay. Because the Charlie thing is it was derived from you and Jessica. Why? Let's talk about it then. Because you guys were caught me all like my in my head like, "Oh, that's weird." Okay, so let, let's start the story with No, I don't want to talk about Charlie if he's but not hold here. Hold on one second. I you you just uh-huh. made made it sound as if we turned you against him which is not the case because my best friend Jessica housed him because he didn't have a home for three months and he left without saying thank you yeah I know okay so don't make it seem because we're gonna fight I have there are certain things that I never 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 want to be portrayed as Uh and that's one of them I never want to be that person who turns you against your friend he willingly chose not to thank somebody whose home who yeah, gave up I know. Her home for three months. I understand who that. walked his dog daily. That was daily. a bad thing. The reason why I haven't talked to him is because of all the things you just said. Okay, he already knows it. He senses it. Okay. Now listen, everyone listening. This is personal stuff. We're gonna keep it in the show. Read me the fucking email now. Okay. On uh, helpful advice with yeah, Bobby baby, and Kalila. Well, no, stop, stop. No, before you go into it. Before you go into it. Listen to me. I was just doing it as a joke. I know that it's really personal to you. And that's the reason why I haven't talked to him because I feel exactly the way you feel. I just, you know, not in those words, but he's cut off. And the reason I why I don't is, want you to cut him off because of me. I've grit. No, I've I, held I, no, my no, tongue. No, 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 no. The reason why he's cut off is, listen to me, is because of all the things that you have mentioned. He didn't say thank you to Jessica when we were being, you know what I mean, completely generous to him and helping him and number two um I, i've helped the guy out for many many years mm-hmm. and um i found it offensive that he you know he would behave that way now but he's so fucking fake dude each time that he would be like hey what's up Kalila? what's up jenna what's up jessica 
Yeah. And then all this time, it's like, yeah, when 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 you were reading your phone, your your messages from him, and I saw that picture that he screenshotted of Jenna, and yeah. he says, "Can we cut her? The can we cut the wires of her brakes? Yeah. Can we kill her? Can we do this to her?" It hurt my feelings. It's yeah. like you've met my friend Jenna for two seconds. She's Jenna's a good girl. All right, um, read the message to the email now. I'm with, sorry, baby. I love you. Come on. Unhelpful advice. With, Don't do the voice. You're right. It's one of those times. Yeah, yeah. Unhelpful advice with I Bobby hate, and Kalila. I hate it that I said it out loud. It's no it's one's okay. business. Unhelpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. This is from Hannah. I recently listened to the bonus belly and made me feel good that Bobby also has OCD. I've had mine for 11 years. My OCD is a fear based on if I don't do my rituals. I always think that I'm, uh, I'll be a horrible day or my dog will die. I was wondering, how do you guys try to stop your tics or rituals or if you just let them happen? If I, the, the one thing I've been doing lately because of the rewinding thing that I have to do is, you know, when I watch something, I have to rewind it. If I rewind it, I have to run it three times. You know that thing I do? I just let it pass. I won't do it. Oh. You know, and so what happens is an hour later, I just forget about why I needed to rewind it in the first place, and it, it just passes. So even in my head, I go, you got to touch that two more times because if you don't, your dad's going to die. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's like if if I live in a world where my where because I don't touch something three times, th- three, three times, something bad happens that mm-hmm. I don't want to be in this world in, in the first place. Right. So it's like that's how I've been. You know, it's like whatever bad thing happens and let it happen because mm-hmm. I don't want to live in that world. And it doesn't happen. The bad thing that I think is going to happen. Right. So if I go, if I don't touch this doormat, the doorknob three times. You know, I'm going to break my foot. It never mm. gets broken. And so it's all bullshit. It's all in my head. And I just let it pass. And mm. I accept whatever it is that I think bad that's, bad that's going to happen. Mm. You okay, babe? No. Do, okay. Well, do you have a rituals that you just let them pass? Or do you actually try to do it? Like, I them? can't even move on from that last conversation. <laughs> wow. I hate, this is what I hate about myself. I'm... I'm so easily triggered and I get I hate when I rant and I hated that I even ranted at the Filipino no. president because I've changed my mind since and I think that he's dangerous, you know? <laughs> yeah, but see, here's the thing, though. But it's like, it's- I don't, I don't like mixing what this is such a, a great space for me. Yeah. You know, that we have this and I don't want that type of personal drama to seep in but i'm so easily triggered because if it's like if you only give bits of information that people can infer from and make their own stories Mm. i can't have that so i have to say the full story Mm. i have to say what really happened because it's like no i i'm i don't want to my friend to be misrepresented in any way because i have her back through and through and I think that I surround myself with the kindest, most generous people. Yeah, but that what's going to happen? Met. What's going to happen is what's going to happen from this? He's going to call. He's going to. He's going to call you. Be like, "Fuck your bitch. Fuck her. Why'd she say all those things?" And well, now then, it's and, a and big the, thing. No, and what I'm going to say is that those are the things that you did that happened. And um, if you want to clear it up, come onto the podcast and we'll clear it up. Yeah, it's just going to be awkward. I don't even want him in my home now. He's going to slash the tires. He's going to fucking. He's not going to sl- He's not that. He's not like Dude, that. Dude, don't hold that past him. He's not like that. He's not going to slash nobody's tires. Hmm. He's not going to slash anybody's tires. Yeah, but I also don't. It's like he's already, you know, trying to work in the industry, and I don't want to fucking just, you, you know, I want to know how to play nice Hollywood. I know I want to play your game where it's like, yeah, you can throw a few jabs, but you can always retract and everything's still friendly. No, when I feel something and I feel like my friends have been wronged, I feel like I can't help but attack. Sweetie. I don't play nice Hollywood. I can't do that. It's cathartic. It's not cathartic. It's not cathartic to me because now I feel worse. Okay, whatever it is, whatever it fucking is, it's going to resolve itself. All right. This is all entertainment. I don't want him to hear this hurt himself. It be my fault. Like I have all these things that I I think about where it's like, Kalila, you could have chosen the high road instead. You said this. Now people are writing things to him, and now you know he's an no, alcoholic. No, no, no. Okay, he's gonna no. relapse, and then now it's my fault. And now I've I've now everything is on my shoulders, and I can't live the rest of my life knowing that I might have been responsible for someone's undoing. You're, first of all, you're what you're doing is you're projecting in the future, and you're not a psychic, and you don't know what's gonna go on. That's crazy. The only thing that's real is the moment. Everything else is just hearsay. Okay, so 
You don't live in the results of anything. That's how you feel. You have resentments. You got them out. And Charlie can either take it or not. And um, I believe that he will take it. I believe that he will apologize. You know what? Even before this airs, I'm going to write him tonight. And he, I'm going to... No, gonna, no. I'm, don't. I'm going to say this is what I said about no, you. No, 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 if you want to talk about it, we can talk about it. No, I'd no, like no, to no, talk no, about no, it. No, no, don't. Don't. And anyone listening to me right now, don't go to Charlie's Instagram and <laughs> fucking say anything. You can't tell them because that's exactly what they'll no, do. No, no, no. They'll do smiley faces or whatever. But my point is, is this is that... This will resolve itself in its own, in the Lord's time. Mm. Okay. And up, if we, the Lord, the Lord, no, if we learned anything from the arrival. <laughs> it's so, be a so good fun, human. What's so funny? Well, full circle back to the movie. Yeah. What we learned from the arrival is there are things bigger than us. That's, here's the thing about the, why I like the arrival. Because you hope that there's something bigger than us, Right. That's something that connects the world together, and we're all it's it's love. Mm. There's love, <clears throat> and we're all connected. And at the end of the day, it's going to be all right. Okay, that's what I loved about the movie. That a peaceful, you know, alien species that wants to help us grow, you know, and I, and 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 you can call that God or whatever you want to, but that's the feeling that I want. I want to feel connected to the world and I don't want I have only love for Mike Pence and Donald Trump and Steve Bannon and these figures and um, I want to be able to understand them and I want to be able to live in harmony with everyone and I, and that's not as a joke that's how I feel right now so anyone listening to Tiger Belly right now that was a really weird episode but we're not editing it editing it and um this is your call i'm happy to edit that part out i'm not we're putting it out there hey that's your i don't want to oh that's fine so hey, hey listen to tiger belly god bless you and let your journeys be your own and let the fog dissipate in front of your eyes so you can reach freedoms was that in the arrival was that a no quote? that's not no i just made that up <laughs> uh my fuck my fucking quotes are for fucking good <laughs> yeah, it was good right is it really good, good? It was good thank you and thank you, Bryce, and thank you, Lord. Good night. Uh, any shows for Bobby? Bobby will be at the American Comedy Company December 1st Everyone through the 3rd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Tiger Belly. This is why this is why we're going to get on t uh, top 10 of iTunes. No, this is literally why we're going to drop off the charts. This is the one thing that I hate about myself. Shows first. Shows first. For That's you. all I know. Okay. And oh, also, Bobby's Mo gonna Monday, be on Monday, a uh, former guest, Chris Wataski. Oh, that's right. Um, uh, Bobby will be doing a show at UCB Sunset, Sunset. I think. Mm -hmm. um, I think there are still tickets available, and um, it's a show called So Do So You Do Comedy. So You Do Comedy. And it's hosted by Chris Wataski, who's a previous guest of ours. Yeah. Uh, Bobby's going to get interviewed by him. So you can just see Bobby. You'll probably be there too, right? Uh, I'm going to try. I'll probably be there too then if she <laughs> yeah. is. Uh, yeah. That's going to be at UCB Sunset. You can go get tickets on UCBSunset.com. Um, anything else? Do you want to say about what just happened? I feel like you're, I cut you off before you were in a... No. I I just want... I wanted so badly for... I thought that after some time that I wouldn't feel the way I do about him. But that's not you, man. You defend your friends. That's right. You, you fucking defend your friends. And that's it's like, like look, even if he was Brad Pitt or Jesus himself, and he did that to my friends. Like I just don't care who you are, even if my if if my reputation is at stake or I just don't care. I'm gonna defend my friends, mm -hmm. you know? And I don't know how else to be. Because I feel like, you know, like I said, like Jenna and Jessica, they're my sisters, they're mm -hmm. my family. And I've only ever they're not nasty people. They're really not. They might, you know, if you if they're not your, you know, some to some people, Jenna might be an acquired taste. She's more of an exhibitionist. Yeah. She likes to dry shave her legs in public. You know, she's sort of a, and you know, she's an anomaly, right? Yeah. Some people are not into that, and maybe they find that enough reason to outwardly hate her. But she's still my sister, and it doesn't warrant any type of shit talking 
No. Yeah, just finishing up. Yeah. Just finishing up. But yeah. Nothing. What'd you talk? What did they say? Nothing. I didn't. I'm just talking to Gilbert about my friends. So I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this episode because I fucking it just became drama. But at the end of the day, I don't regret defending my friends, and I never will. So. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at TigerBelly, on Twitter at the Tiger Belly, and email us any questions. We've been light on questions the past couple uh, weeks. We're getting a lot of the same um, type of questions, so try to mix it up. Send us some questions. You can do that at the email, uh, thetigerbelly at gmail.com. Uh, you can follow Kalila at, I'm not giving you her social media. <laughs> you can follow Kalila at Bryce. Halleck. Halleck. Is it underscore So Halleck? send all your random hate to Bryce Halleck. Yeah, you were a great guest today, Bryce. Bryce, you killed it. You yeah. and George. Weird cousins. Or ne- you're, the, you're the nephew of George. Um, I think that's all we have for that's this it, guys. week, guys. Sorry about that rant. I'm sorry I'll be there next week, Chad.